Hi ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming back to watch another perfume video. My name is Bernice, like, comment and subscribe. And today I want to show you my winter perfumes in my perfume collection. So the first one I'm going to start with in no particular order. In no particular order whatsoever, okay. Um, this one is going to be my Britney Spears fantasy i like this perfume for winter i'm not going to go through the notes because that's a it's going to be a long video but i like this perfume because it is so sweet for winter it has um kiwi vanilla and white chocolate it is warm something that you can wear for winter stay away from this in the summer times um, unless you really do like to smell very sweet but this one is so strong definitely much much nicer for the winter times this is a very affordable perfume also uh, by the way because it is a celebrity perfume and i really really like this one this one is in the 30 mil it's very affordable so yes this is the britney spears fantasy then this one is John Paul Gaultier. You've seen this a million times here on my channel. I really like it. It's so strong yet very um, subtle um, for winter. It is not too strong or annoyingly sweet. But even though it is a honey filled perfume, it is a warm perfume for the winter times. I mainly use this for summer. Look how much is left. Half. I'm halfway there. I'm halfway through this perfume. Um, this is a 50 ml if I'm not mistaken. I have to get uh, another bottle because I am going to finish this very quickly. I spray this even in the summer times because it smells so good for me. I really like it in the summer times. The thing is um we don't have very long winters so honestly i can't just put these perfumes and not use them hoping hoping to wear them in the next winter so i do wear this in the summer times in the hotter times it doesn't affect me so much i've actually found a way to spray these perfumes on so that they don't annoy me i spray them on my sides and not on my chest because if you spray it on the, on your chest immediately under your nose when you get heated up the smell just um goes straight into your nose it stings your nose so definitely try to spray them on the sides um and not on your chest and then also lower down your body so definitely this is a lovely 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 honey perfume I love it. This is John Paul Gaultier Scandal. This one is Dolce and Gabbana Garden. So Dolce and Gabbana Garden is a coconut perfume. The coconut note in here is magnificent. I love it so much, but I also wear it um, in the summer times. This turns into a powdery pink marshmallow scent. Once you've worn it throughout the day, it becomes such a wonderful, light, um, elegant, sweet perfume. Even though it is for the winter, it is definitely a nice, very nice perfume for the summertime also. But it can get a bit sick in the heat, but I really like it also. But this is a wonderful coconut winter perfume. Dolce and Gabbana Garden. Here we have Princess Marina de Bourbon Paris. I have a review on this. This is a mix between La Vie a Belle and John Paul Gaultier. Honestly, that was the first thing that I thought of when I bought this. I blind bought this. I got this mainly for the bottle because I really like the bottle. But then I thought, okay, let me just see what we have here now this is so sweet so mature it's a very mature tonka bean patchouli it's literally 
John Paul Gaultier and La Vie Abel together. I really like this one. But it's mainly for the winter. I would never, I have never worn this in the summer at all. I, the last time I wore it was in winter, in June. And it was so strong, so strong, honestly. I don't think I'll definitely wear this in the summer. No, no, no. This is Princess de Bourbon Marina um, Royal Marina. And then, obviously, we have La Vie Abel. Um, Eau de Parfum. This one is in the 75 ml, if I'm not mistaken. It's it's not my biggest perfume. I was going to say it's my biggest perfume, but no, it's not. I, I take that back. So this one is also patchouli. It's sweet. A lot of vanilla. I think tonka bean in here. I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. But yeah, La Vie Abel is also a sweet perfume. Okay. It is a sweet perfume for the winter, but I wear this in the summer time also. Look, I spray this on so much. Yeah, I spray this on a lot. Luckily, this is a bigger bottle, so I still have quite a lot of it in there. But in the summertime, it becomes also a very powdery, sweet, um, soft, feminine ladylike perfume so i wouldn't say this is for the summer for the winter even though i did i put it in this winter perfume but i also like this also in the summer a lot but also do not spray it on your chest it will annoy you the entire day if you are wearing this in summer in winter this is lovely you get compliments it's strong people around you can smell it so yes, this is La Vie Appel or the Parfum. Here we have Olympia Paco Rabanne. I love this one so much. I got this in the 30 mil. And in the what mil is this? 50 mil. I can't see. But this is the 50 mil, if I'm not mistaken. My 30 mil is beyond halfway. It's almost finished. So I had to quickly go and get this one here. I am thinking of getting the Intense Pakaraban Olympia Intense. But I'll see when I will get that one. This is a salty vanilla sweet perfume. I have quite a lot of um, winter perfumes for someone who lives in a hot, hot country. But this one, I also put it on during the summer. I cannot not spray this perfume because the salty vanilla also is so interesting. It becomes a skin scent. It's a wonderful vanilla. It's an if I can say an authentic vanilla because of the salt, it makes it very authentic. Unlike the sweet fake vanillas that you get in perfumes, this one is very, very real um, in my opinion. And it is a wonderful signature scent and also a skin scent. It is a lovely, warm, sweet, um, very elegant. I really like this one. Olympia Paco Rabanne. This one is my Average Lane Coppelia Intense Eau de Parfum. I really like this one. It's almost through. I really, really like this one. Um, I spray it on in the winter and also in the summer. I don't have a particular time when I spray this one. It smells so sweet. It smells sweet caramel. Vanilla also, but it is very sweet. I think the caramel in here is... It smells so sweet. It reminds me of fudge. Um, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. I like this one a lot. Coppelia Average Lane Intense or the Perfume. And then I have my last one, which is one of my inspirations. This is Flower Bomb. 
flower balm by Rick Victor and Ralph. I also would like to get that one. I would definitely like to get that one. But for some reason, those are so expensive. I have no idea why. But they really are expensive. But I'll definitely get that. These are my inspirations. EMA or the perfume. Before I started getting into the perfume collection and whatnot. I have so many of these in my cupboard. I have a ridiculous amount of these in my cupboard. I've gone through so many of these, especially with the Levy Apple ones. I love them so much. And my experience with these is that they are made to be so to smell so 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 close to the original um, perfume. It's crazy. So sometimes it feels like why am I even buying these other ones that I have when literally um these perfumes smell almost identical to the ins um, to the real one these inspiration perfumes smell identical to the real one so for example someone at my workplace mentioned that i smell like olympia um and i asked her oh is it she says yes i also have um uh, the inspiration which is um, olympia and it smells and you smell like Olympia. I don't have an expiration for Olympia. I only have the original bottle. So if she was able to pick that up. That I'm wearing Olympia. Clearly it shows that the inspirations are very identical. I like them a lot. Because they are much more affordable. They are attainable. They are easily, easily um, available. You get these from shops or people sell them to you and you honestly smell so good so so good so you don't have to go out and buy um the 1000 rand for 30 mil 1600 rand for 30 mil when you can literally get this for 120 rand so yes this one is my victor and rolf flower bomb and this one i like it a lot i haven't checked up the notes on flower bomb but this one a sweet I don't know if there's vanilla in here I don't know if there's caramel but it's that sweet chocolatey um, thick caramel sort of a perfume yeah and I really like this one Thank you so much for watching my video i really appreciate like comment and subscribe and watch my other reviews and also please do share to your friends who love perfume i really appreciate and subscribe 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 i'll see you in the next video bye